In this video, we're going to talk about various play modes. You've probably noticed one shot and gated here. We're going to make this really easy. So we're going to use our favorite vocal sample that we've been playing with here. All right, so this is how this sample sounds in one shot mode. See, I touch this and it plays through the whole sample as a one shot. And you can tell, other than hearing it, that these two lights stay lit up through the whole playback. All right. If I switch to gated, as soon as I let go, it stops. So if you've got a trigger hitting there, it's just going to play it as gated. And if you send a, a long gate, it'll hold it as long as that gate is high. All right. So for drums, similarly, let's do this double kick here on 3-4. So as a one shot, so you can see it stay on there. As a one shot, it's playing that whole sample through, which might be what you want. As gated, we're just getting the very first top of it. Now you can use sample start. We'll talk about that in future videos. You can change you know, where it's hitting that sample, yes, but still, it's just going to be hit as long as that gate is high. There's a third mode, and it's called latch mode. If you hold down the playback mode and hit l and hit your channel button, it goes into latch mode. And latch mode shows by blinking there. And what latch mode means is that it's the equivalent of pressing and holding the channel button without having to physically hold it. So latch mode is like holding it for you. So the channel remains in latch mode until the channel button is pressed again, like that, lets it go. And then it decays at the rate set by the release parameter in the envelope. So in this case, it's just going to let it play through. Latch mode is a little strange to get your mind around. And we're going to do something really interesting with it, um, with scrubbing and shuttling. In our next video, we're going to talk about the various loop modes.